Welcome to our PGA Tour coverage here on 2K Sports. Today's coverage of the Champions Invitational is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey, proud to be alongside 2002 PGA winner Rich Beam. What's this opening hole like? Caramel Creek opening hole is a tough one. 452 yards, a very picturesque opening hole. Fairway dog legs from left to right. The fairway bunker down the right-hand side shouldn't see much action. Generous fairway just over that. Second shot plays back up the hill. There's a deep bunker waiting for any wayward shots over the right-hand side. An opening par four here is job well done. Let's get down to the action. Good look at birdie here. This one's looking good. That's pretty fancy. Nice start. And always a good feeling to have early in the round. Currently one under for the day. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Time to tee off at the second. Nice birdie in the last hole for a change. First one of the day. They needed it desperately. Now, next hole, looking for more. That's heading for the fairway. Let's head over to the fifth. And here we are with the third shot. Let's return to live play now. Rich, what kind of mojo do you think this player's got after winning in their last start? This player has more confidence, I believe, than any other player in the field at the moment. This should be another good week for him. Going with the five iron here. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. A wonderful shot. The chance for Booty here at the second. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at Birdie coming up. And down it goes. So that's back-to-back -back birdies. And I like it. Two in a row. She's currently tied for 11th. Pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Looks to be going with the five iron. She won't be too disappointed with that. Certainly a couple of putts from there, and that'll be a good hole. He's already made a few birdies today. And this is another good look. Oh, that's a lengthy putt. Roll hold. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Solid play finds that player moving up the leaderboard after that hole. Welcome to this par five hole. That one's heading down Broadway. Coming off a hat-trick of birdies. That's great momentum. And it might be an ambitious play, but I like it. Looks like they're going for the green here. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. And this putt to move into the top five. Looking better. Oh, well hold for Eagle. And that will take her to five under. John, you're down there. What's happening? Down here on the fifth hole, guys. This is Jim Furyk setting up his shot. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Here we are at the fifth hole. The tee is yours. An eagle on the last hole for this player. Let's see if they can't build on the momentum they've created. Yeah. 
That got caught up in a few of the branches. Oh, absolutely flushed. And this effort by Justin Thomas just a short while ago. I got to say, his short game is one of the best in the game. Second shot here on the fifth. Lovely effort, that. There's 17 feet remaining to the hole. And that's their fourth booty of the day. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The lead continues to grow. This is simply amazing. Here we are in front of a par three. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Butting for birdie. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. And that will move her to seven under. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. Do you attack it and try and increase your lead, or do you lay back and play safe? I like to attack it, what do they like to do? Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. It's been a good year. Three wins so far this season. Oh, that impressed me and her. John, give us a small update. Down here on the eighth hole, guys, this is Jim Furyk setting up his next shot. And back to the course with the live action. Right on four feet. Should make this one. Looks good off the blade. Well, what an effort. And another shot to your lead. And with that, she'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. John, give us an update. What's shaking? Down on the 11th hole. This is Justin Thomas's next shot. And uh, about 27 feet to go here. Let's get back to it, shall we? Taking aim from about 180 yards here. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. She's managed to find the grid on this approach. Make sure you get both the line and the speed right here. It's a long part. Oh, so close. Job done. Let's head to the next. Now four shots up after that hole.
Teeing off here at the ninth hole. Left nothing in the tank on that one. That was pummeled. Four in a row. They're on some sort of a roll. Good shot there. Oh, 13 footer coming up here. Yeah, nice mid range birdie putt that one. And that puts her in first place. Always love a new beginning. Here we are at the opening hole of the back nine, the 10th. Opting for the hybrid, I think. I nice shot that. That should find the surface. A lovely play. She's on the dance floor. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau. This was his second. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. Well hold. Our current leader enjoys a five-shot advantage. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. That should find the fairway. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? Well, guys, I'm on the 12th hole, and John Furyk's prepping his next shot. Time now for the fourth shot. Okay, let's get back to the action. And this shot from about 150 yards out. And choosing the eight iron here. Left yourself an opportunity. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. That's a good putt to make. We'll take that. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. This hole is a par five. This hole is so gettable. They're definitely looking to extend that lead by one or maybe even two strokes once the hole is finished. Yeah, she didn't like that one. You could tell this lie is not great. Opting for the five iron. Close to the surface here, in the green side rough. Well, that's a handy shot. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. 
You just keep building a bigger advantage. Well played. Now six shots in front after that hole. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Going with the seven. Well, this one's right at the pin. This putt just five feet away from the hole. And that's for birdie. Well hold. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. I'm down on the 16th hole as Justin Thomas gets ready for his next shot. A chance now from the bunker for an up and down. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. You've arrived at a par four. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Time for the second shot at the 14th. Going with the five iron here. Now yeah, that looked pretty good the whole way. This putt coming up is for birdie. That was a gallant attempt. Putting for par. And well hold. Let's move on. Sitting at minus 14 now for the round. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. Oh, that was pure. Let's head out to the 16th hole. And about 120 yards out from here. Should find the green here. Now this is some ball striking. Hitting greens in regulation, it's a thing of beauty. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens in regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. Oh, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Well, every week, there's a certain bunch of players that everyone keeps an eye on. This one seems to be exactly in that company. One of the strong favorites to win, don't you think, Rich? Without a doubt, the best player all around on tour, in my mind's eye. It is no shock to see them contending for the lead once again. 19 feet to the cup. Looking really good. And with it, she's going to extend the lead on the field. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Well, this should find the short grass. Well, that's right out of the top draw. A great shot from our leader. Luke, that one was humongous. Sitting at four under for the day in a share of seventh. Playing from around 230 yards. It's 
Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Outstanding approach shot. Might it be nice to make this one. This one's for Eagle. Get excited. This could go in. Ooh, that looks like a pure stroke. And she's our leader. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Well, they should be high on confidence stepping onto the tee now after that eagle at the last. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. That's uh, a little wayward. Air mailed the green with that approach. She holds this. She'll win it all. Good looking putt. And that's going to do it. Holds the putt for victory. Well played. Absolutely. I, it's hard to believe that this player already got four victories on the season. Top of the game right now. It's impressive. Well, Rich, after that hot start, it's probably little surprise that this player powered through to victory. It's very rare where you see a player absolutely dominate a field like they did in this tournament. Unbelievable job all around. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HP Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.
2K Sports, delighted to bring you all the action here from the PGA Tour. Today's coverage of the Tall Palms Classic is about to kick off. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside PGA champion Rich Beam. We're in the booth and down on the course is John McCarthy. Thanks, Luke. So pleased to be here at the Juma Riot Club today. And what a way to start your day with this long par four staring deep into the downtown area. Oh, my goodness. Can't wait to see what happens here today. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Just needs this one to kick right. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, what's she looking at? Looks like a lengthy 25-foot putt from here. Oh, that's a bad break there, Rich. Just probably a little bit too much pace. Yep, yeah, well done. Starting the round at even par. Here we are at the second tee. Going with the six iron here. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. This putt about 11 feet in distance. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. Currently one under for the event. And after a birdie at the last, they'll take the honour on the hole. Mm, mm, a thing of beauty. John, what's going on out there? I'm down here on the fifth hole. This is Gary Woodland's next shot. And for the par. Looking great now. Well done. And that puts him into the top five for the tournament. Blessed with physical attributes that is the envy of most people on tour. This man is a physical presence, but he's now a real presence on leaderboards and also a major champion, Gary Woodland. He's the modern player. He's a big, strong young man who was a multi-sport athlete growing up. So he's got great eye-head coordination from playing basketball all those years. In fact, quit basketball in college to focus on golf solely. And I have to say that you can watch him hit golf balls, you can watch the chipping, you can watch the putting and all that and how great it is, but you really don't measure the greatness of the man until you get a chance to say hi to him. And he's probably got the warmest heart of any player out on tour. He truly is just an all-American nice guy. Can't say that of a lot of folks, but you can definitely say that about Gary Woodland. That's the Midwest kid in him. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. From around 170 yards here. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Just a four-footer remaining. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. A well hold, you'll take the birdie. And that will take it at three under. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway.
Let's take a look back at this just moments ago. Ian Poulter with an outstanding shot here. This is very well done from long range. Let's return to live play now. Well, I like the way this person's playing. Birdies all over that scorecard. It's a good start to the day. Let's hope they can keep up the good form. Great looking shot, this. Lining up the birdie putt here. This one started out on a good line. Nice one. Fourth birdie of the day. And with that, she'll move to four under par. No longer tied for the lead at the end of that hole. She's now our sole leader. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead, Luke. But can they maintain it? Let's find out. Well, I like the look of the line here. It should find the fairway. That's great momentum. Four birdies on the trot. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine -nine. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. And our intrepid on-course reporter, John, standing by. Well, guys, we're taking a look at Gary Woodland here on the 7th. Let's get back to it, shall we? Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And with that, she'll move to five under par. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Deep into the front nine, here we are at the seventh hole. Oh, that was pummeled into submission. Four victories so far this season. Interesting choice of the driver here. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Always like the aggressive play, going forward in two and getting rewarded for it. Well, you're going to be difficult to catch now if you keep holding putts like that. And with that, she'll move to seven under par. Incredible. Well, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. And after that hole, leading Gary Woodland by three strokes. We've reached the eighth hole. The tee is yours. Going with the eight iron here. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. Well, there's uh, action of plenty all over the course. Let's have a look at this highlight from another player. Ian Poulter comes up with a beauty here. Lining up for his second. And back to the course with the live action. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. Well, it looks like about 23 feet from here. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. After that hole, we've now built a three-shot buffer over Gary Woodland. We have a par four on this one. That'll work, that's fine. Time for the second shot here at the ninth. <laughs> a 
Game of the seven. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Well, that'll set up a birdie bid, Rich. Yes, got to think that's a certain birdie from there. Always nice to hold those for birdie. And that will take her to eight under. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. Let's see what happens here at the 10th hole. Standing on this par four and leading. What's the strategy? What's going on through their mind? Attack it or lay back? Yeah, it might be ambitious to some. But they're going for the green. Oh, I love that aggressive play. Gotta love it. Taking out the big stick and going ahead and walloping it right onto the green. This one looking really good. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. There's been some great play all over this course. How about this shot at the 12th? Our current leader showing us why they're on top. And this is a great opportunity, a great look from long range. Our current leader is enjoying a six-stroke advantage. That should find the cut stuff. John, do you have any info down there? Down here on the 13th, fellas, this is Gary Woodland's next shot. This is their fifth shot. Second shot here on the 11th. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. A wonderful shot. A chance for Birdie here on the 11th. Oh, a nine foot chance here. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. But what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. Still in the lead now after that hole. We've arrived at a par four hole. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. And inside the red zone around 110 yards to go. Going with the seven. Well, they'd love a little bounce to the right here. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. It was on a good line. And this one is for her par. Yeah, we'll take that. Leading by a whopping seven shots after that one. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par. Chance to pipe one up the middle. That one's heading down Broadway. It's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. And this effort by Justin Thomas. And here we are with their four. All right, John, how's this putt looking? Well, this putt is looking at to be about 23 feet. Oh, just missed. Good putters will make these right on five feet. 
and that will drop in for birdie and this is quality play still on top of the leaderboard lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole keep it rolling Opting for the six iron. Come on, sit. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hold a long one. Still counts. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. Ouch, that hurts. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. She's currently sitting in first place. This is a short par four, always a fun hole to play. This hole is so important at this critical time. Go for it, lay it back. How much do you trust your swing? Well, we're hearing some excitement elsewhere on the course. I gotta say, this is a 10 on the scale. And this effort by Gary Woodland was just a little while ago. Here's a great shot from our player currently in second. Rich, for such a long time, Gary Woodland was one of those physical beasts, a guy that you knew who could flat ball it out there, but he didn't seem to get the most out of his game until he found out a way to get it in the hole quicker. He's always been a good ball striker, but I think just maybe simplifying the game a little bit and not focusing on the swing or the short game or the putting, trusting that his abilities were good enough, and he finally got out of his own way, started racking up the wins, had a lot of close finishes, but no victories, until finally, finally gets the US Open Championship at Pebble Beach. What a moment. So many shots there that I will never forget, ever. Getting ready to play their third. Well, that's an impressive little chip. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. A nice feeling it must be to have that sizable of a lead coming down the stretch. Now seven strokes up after that hole. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. shot by our leader this one's for birdie this one's dialed in and with that fine putt she extends her advantage over the field and still in top spot after that hole keep it going two holes to go Luke can they hang on This hole is a par four, and it's a pretty lengthy one at that. That one was fired out of a cannon.
playing this shot from about 170 yards out. Going with the hybrid. Yeah, that one's looking good. Wow, what a shot. Made birdie on the last. Looking for a second in a row here. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Gotta like it. Two in a row. Currently 13 under for the day. Well, this is when the adrenaline really starts to kick in. Leading the tournament with the final hole to play. Good luck. Absolutely tattooed that one. Well, with a pocket full of FedEx Cup points over the last half a dozen starts or so, this player certainly has been delivering consistent results and pushing for wins or winning, Rich. Do you expect that to continue here this week? It's never a surprise when you speak this player's name. They've been so good all year long. They've got to be one of the favorites, not only for this tournament, but for also for the season-long FedEx Cup. Well, what an opportunity in front of her. This for the tournament. Ooh, right by the hole. Hold this part here and you'll sign off at a 58. They've made it back in the winner's circle, Rich. That was absolutely sensational. And what a life-changing moment it can be winning. And I got to say, impressive week all around from that player. Happy for him. And Rich, mark that down as one of the outstanding wins we'll see this season. It's always impressive when you see a player outshine their fellow competitors because all of these players are really good, but this player made everybody in the field look very, very average. So good was their performance. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elvey, and on behalf of Rich Beam, plus all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's good night for now.